So, let's start with the overview of the major macroeconomic statistics. Essentially, macroeconomists they're trying to measure three things. And those three things are prices, production, and unemployment. And macroeconomists then create three statistics to measure these things. <coughs> For this, economists use something along the lines of the consumer price index or the GDP deflator. For this, they use the gross domestic product, which will be the focus of this chapter. Gross domestic product, or you sometimes hear of it as shortened GDP. And then for unemployment, you would often hear about the unemployment rate. So this naturally raises the question of, why measure these things? And the idea is that it basically tells us something about the general economy. And if what it's telling us about the general economy is something bad, then we might want to intervene. How would we intervene? If we want to intervene in the economy to make it better, and I'm going to put that in quotes because it's a little uncertain what we actually mean by better, but if we want to intervene in the economy to make it better, we basically have two primary kinds of tools. We can use um, fiscal policy, or we can use monetary policy. And these will be our focus after this second exam. When I'm talking about fiscal policy, I'm talking about the government. When I'm talking about monetary policy, I'm talking about the central bank. And the central bank is not the same thing as the federal government. So that's what we're trying to do in the, in the course of these next few chapters. We're trying to better understand how the economy is um, um, doing uh, through the three statistics of prices, production, and unemployment, and through that whether we should use fiscal policy or monetary policy.